Good morning and welcome to this week's Head Teachers broadcast. It's Monday the 6th of December. Not long to go now until Christmas. This time uh, last Monday many of us were um, trying to struggle with the fact of uh, not having any power and uh, as a result uh, many people were out of um, action for a number of days uh, because of that and um, that was very hard for many of us to, to deal with and I do hope now that everybody's a, a little bit warmer and a little bit lighter uh, in terms of, of being able to get power and um, so well done to everyone who, who managed to get through that. It does remind me of a, of a phrase that I sometimes use which is that every, every cloud has a silver lining and albeit that having no power and no heating and no lighting uh, would have been very difficult, challenging. It did give us the opportunity perhaps to re-engage with family members and spend some more time together perhaps with our digital devices switched off and not having access to those things and spending some quality time together. So there was maybe some silver lining in, in that cloud. And that, and that does remind me of, of another quote that I sometimes use about people who are successful. And the, and the people that are successful are those that try and motivate others and build each other up and celebrate success, much like we do at uh, Banff Academy. So when you feel under pressure and when you have a situation like we had during Storm Arnwin, it's much better to try and help motivate and uh, push other people and to look at, for the good things in bad moments rather than the bad things. Because unsuccessful people tend to hate, blame and complain and they often look at um, silver linings and then try and find a cloud. So if you flip it around the other way and think of the good things that can come out of bad experiences, then it is motivating and you're more likely to be successful. Um, talking about being successful and, and, and building each other up, the, the squad challenge over the last couple of weeks was to do with um, random acts of kindness. And uh, the one that uh, impressed me the most was the squad which uh, decided to put together a Christmas hamper and sell some squares for that. And so I'm delighted that the winner of the Head Teachers Challenge for Random Acts of Kindness was Squad Williams. So very well done to them and they'll get their chocolate this week. Next week's Head Teachers Squad Challenge, there's two. Uh, there's a specific one for first year and one for the rest of the school. Both have a Christmas theme. And the uh, first one, which for S1 pupils, is if you think of the social area, there are 12 individual pillars there. Each one will be de decorated as a Christmas tree and each one will be assigned to a particular squad in S1. There are 12 pillars and there are 12 S1 squads. And S1 squads will be invited to decorate their own pillar and then by the end of next week, we will be able to choose, that's Friday the 17th, we'll choose which pillar is the best decorated. Now details of which pillar is going to be assigned to which squad will come to the squad leaders very shortly, but it's up to S1 pupils to look after their squad pillar and decorate it in the best way that they possibly can. For the rest of the school, again this would be a two week challenge, so this is uh, to, for this week and for next week, is to design your own Christmas jumper. Um, so the, the more Christmassy jumpers uh, that you can design, the better. And we'll have a look at them a week on Friday to see which ones are the best. So that's two uh, challenges that we've got this week. So for Christmas, uh, we have a number of things uh, we can still try and enjoy as much as we possibly can. Unfortunately, there will be no snowballs and no Christmas parties, no Christmas pantomime because of this dreadful COVID. But we'll still have Christmas Jumper Day on Friday this week. And uh, the money for that will be put towards Save the Children. And there will be Christmas lunches available for everybody as well on Friday. And so I do still remind you to have a look at the Collaborative Connections website where there are many apprenticeships and also employment opportunities for some of our senior people. So please do click on there and have a good look to see if there's anything that takes your fancy. And then to finish this week, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to have to mention COVID again. And um, the numbers in school are very, very low. They're still in single figures and we're still, since the start of this session, below 20% of the school population that have uh, tested positive. But that's thanks to your efforts and the mitigations that we still have in place. So for teachers, that's testing twice with the lateral flow test. And for students, that's wearing face masks and uh, keeping your hands washed and clean as much as you possibly can all of the time. So by doing that, we're able to keep the virus out of Banff Academy and those numbers very low indeed. 
We don't want anybody to be self-isolating over the Christmas period, so it's really important over the next two weeks that we continue to follow those guidelines and do as much as we can to help ourselves and each other to make sure that we don't transmit uh, the coronavirus around the school. So good luck with those head teacher challenges. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. By the end of this week, we should see departments and faculties with their theme dressed corridors and uh, the senior school executive will come along and have a look to see which faculty has uh, gone above and beyond in terms of having a Christmas theme. So thanks for listening and I'll be in touch and speak to you next week. Bye bye.